Hello and welcome back to Tyburn Road and today we're going to finish off wiring up our point motors concentrating on wiring our switches into the system. So starting with the switch on this particular one there are lots of wires but the, the wires we're interested in from the switch are the red, green and black wire and these will travel from the switch underneath the baseboard through the baseboard uh, to the underside where we will connect them to the wires coming from the point motors. As is usual for me I'm using chalk blocks to connect the wires underneath the baseboard and these need to be in combinations of three. So you can see here one two three four five six seven eight nine separate connections so that will carry three switches using three connections. On this particular one you can see a yellow wire coming into the second connection on the strip of chop block and this yellow wire is coming from the CDU, the capac capacitor discharge unit, coming from position three if you refer to the previous video which is the um, power out positive directly to this uh, first switch. So in this picture we see the situation as it should currently stand for you. You have your point motor in place with uh, green, black and red wires going into the chalk block and then black wires coming from the power out negative on the CDU coming into the point motor and then going back out onto the next point motor. To this we then wire in a corresponding green and red wire into the chalk block that will go from here directly to the, uh, the, the strip of chop block we're using to connect the switch wires to the point motor wires. So here we see the wires coming from the switch. So if you remember I said we were focused on the green, black and red. It's green at the top, black in the middle, red at the bottom here. Opposite the yellow wire coming in from the CDU. So the yellow wire in, that I've used, whatever colour you use, will connect to the black wire from the switch. You then connect the green wire from the point motor chop block into the uh, first position, obviously corresponding to the green wire coming from the switch. And again, obviously the red wire from the point motor comes in to the third position on the first switch chop block opposite its corresponding red wire from the switch. Now, as with the power out negative wire from the CDU, the black wire we've used that had to daisy chain from point motor to point motor to point motor, we also need to daisy chain the power out positive, in this case I've used a yellow wire, from switch to switch to switch. So we've got the um, yellow wire coming into the chop block directly from the power out positive on the CDU. And I've then inserted a short wire into the same connection ready to carry over for the next switch. And you can see that here, the short wire connects the central part of the first three chop blocks to the central connection of the second block of three chop blocks, ready for the next switch. So in this picture then we have the wires at the bottom from the second switch, as before, green, black, red, going into the chop block. 
and then the corresponding red and green wires coming from the second switch into the chuck block opposite there, their corresponding wires from the switch. And that's it. You're then going to daisy chain the yellow wire from this switch to the next switch in the same way, wire in the wires from the switches to the next block of three on your chop block and bring across the red and green wires from the point motor into the corresponding position. After that, the only thing left to do is to connect power to the CDU, which is straightforward. Positions one and two are power in positive and power in negative. And as you would expect, you connect the positive wire from your transformer or power source into the power in positive and the negative wire into the power in negative and you're good to go. I hope you found this useful and I look forward to seeing you next time. Bye bye.